Hey guys, how's it going? So we left off probably in this section in the previous video where we wrote our code for writing the entire stuff. We wrote the entire thing and uh, we also did uh, do a lot of additional stuff with respect to model racing our code and writing our example app and everything. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how to push our code to GitHub, which is a very basic stuff. I'm not going to talk more about it. But once you push the code to GitHub, you'll get your uh, your your package link which is very very important for us to go ahead and build our uh, plugin which in turn can then be used for pushing it to the uh, pub.dev that's going to be the agenda for this video let's get this started straight away first things first make sure that, that you have added all the changes and i have actually committed my change so what i'm going to be doing is to directly go ahead and create a simple package for myself and uh, i'll just go to call it as flare awesome or oh, okay it's going to be uh, awesome flare button something like that and create repository this is a very it's, it's actually a public repository i don't want to do much of this sort and i'm going to be doing this do a git remote add so that we can push it to this and i've already committed my changes so if you can see it's showing me that it's already committed so i'm going to be now pushing the code as given origin master and our code is going to get pushed and our we can directly now look into making uh, the changes in our pubspec.yaml the code is pushed you can go ahead and do a simple refresh and you can see for yourself that a code is pushed it's all of this done we have to make a lot of changes to our readme.md i'll do it afterwards but this is very important now what i'm going to do is take this github link go to my pubspec.yaml file and go to the top this is going to be an inside example not this one the other one that's outside and go to the top and as an author here i'm going to give my name and the next thing that we have to do is to definitely add a home page tag now the home page tag is very important because this is actually taken uh, by the pub.dev to show the repository your home page and all of that information is going to be shown so you're going to take and paste this information here and we're going to be done with it do a just save it up and we go to a terminal that is going to be present here we have to now do a simple rerun it's going to flutter pub publish hyphen hyphen dry hyphen run so it's going to find out if there is any issue with our code and it will do automatically do all of that sort it'll check if anything is missing any errors present if it is not it's going to directly push our code to the uh, repository that's going to pub.dev so let's check it up i think it says that your includes an author section which is no longer used and may be removed and it has finished with exit code 65 what else is there your dependency should have a version constraint for example okay it says that i need to have a version constraint this is because if our application or if uh, we're going to be uh, changing the flare flutter it's also going to be definitely in uh, causing problems so we need to obviously have a flutter version so this is going to be the first one okay now let's run it again do a simple try run again to check everything's working fine uh, should work fine Another issue, what does it say? Your pop, pop package validation found the potential issue, your pop spec which is no longer used and may be removed. Okay, that's another issue, I guess. It was there in the previous one. All right, make sure to always give your version as 0 0.0.1. That is another one. Do another pop die run, should work now, at least, hopefully. Cool, it's run with zero warnings and time to push it now. Just do a, without a dry run, just in he, hit publish. It's gonna automatically push it for us and it's gonna give us an, uh, a link where you can go check it out. That should be the usual flow. It says that uploads uh, uploads to pub.dev are subject to policy. Obviously, you should have read it. Let's give an S, waiting for your authorization. It says that in a web browser, go to this page and click all of access. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to be doing, it's obviously my username and password. So I'm going to do that. See, it's authorized. Cool. Package is published. Let's go check it out for ourselves. Flutter. Awesome flare button. F font where is mine where is mine where is mine i don't know where is it um, 
I don't know where it is. Send code to Mark. I need to find it for myself. Come on. Fine, I found it finally. It's here. It's going to pick it up from my GitHub repository link. If you note it, it's going to go directly to this. Whatever changes you're making here is obviously going to come in this section as well. And that's pretty much it. We have done return and also pushed a change to the uh, pub.dev. It was published on age and everything also. Let me give myself a like if you, if you're right. It's still in a waiting state if you can find it. So it is going to be going through a sea of changes. They're going to check all of that and then only accept it. And by the meantime, you can just complete our readme.md as well as change, give it an example, do a change log and all of that. So, so the example section is there. So it's going to show me the exam. It's going to directly pick that main dot file from the example and show it to the users which is pretty much fine. That's what I was, was expecting. It's it's also automatically giving what to do. It's saying that automatically do an import and you are done. So that's that's how automatically all of these things are read. And we can now see the version is going to be 0 0.0.1. It's still saying awaiting. It says a lot of errors are there. It's giving an overall score. I don't know what is the big thing here. It says health, maintenance, all of that sort, and finally finishing up with this. All right, so this it let it let it take some time. Oh, I, I actually it has uh, finished uh, running this entire thing. Cool. So our application is live. Our plugin is live in the pub.dev uh, servers. We can now directly check if it is working fine. You can do a sample run by uh, going for a, a new Flutter project, and let's do a sample test. Test. Uh, BTA no, no, that. let's do it let's test it it was faster test here I wanted to happen that fast let's see who's working this window is fine I'm not going to do uh, disconnect cool all right so let's open up our project source control we don't mess it up mess up with it open our pubspec.yaml uh, here and in the dependencies first section we're going to be doing a first dependency which is going to be uh, this one i'm copy pasting my own plugin awesome all right packages get should work Awesome, it does work, no problem with that. Go to main dot file and we'll just run a simple one. So it's gonna show a column for me and all of that sort. I'll just remove this section alone from here. Um, probably the children section. I'll add my own. I'll say a container and and the container is gonna have a child. Uh, text, I don't know, text. sample text file cool container is one done next follow it up with my next one which is the circular awesome it's come see from the pipeline it has shown it to me i'm going to be now giving it import it i have to put it inside a container obviously right and i'm done with it and the height will be probably 150 or 250 i don't know what of that width will be double dot infinity so it should be the entire thing so we top let's okay run it up let's see this works fine should work fine Awesome, so the application is running as expected and let's click on this button. Yeah, it has happened probably. I mean, I'm pretty happy how it turned out. I think the plugin is working as expected and uh, and that should be the entire end of this video series. Hopefully a lot of you guys did learn something new. If you find if you find any difficulties in uh, maybe we are making this thing work, definitely let me know about that in the comment section. I'll be happy to help. For those of you who did uh, have other ideas for adding to this plugin, you can definitely do it just to a PR request and I'll automatically be uh, able to give you guys the, uh, the the confirmation. So that's going to be it. Um, uh, let me know guys what you think about in the comment section. Um, 
i know this isn't something that is amazingly uh, uh, awesome kind of a plugin but it does work so that's the aim for the series it was to create a plugin from scratch and maybe hopefully show you guys how things are done and i'm pretty happy how it turned out let me meet you guys in something awesome in upcoming videos I have a lot of different video series to come out um, maybe until then you guys can practice things like this and uh, do additional changes to the already existing plugin uh, let me meet you there. Until then, it's Bharat. Peace out. Have a super awesome day.